totally bad and I love how he did it how he did it. he just goes all bad and he's a total master planner if you know what I mean this show I cannot complain of anything about it of course I'm a Batman fan first but Spider-Man yeah I used to be I'm the I used Spider-Man used to be number two but then Superman moved in there but thanks to the show Spider-Man's edging back in the number two seat I think it's a tie now I don't know, <laughs> but um, back to Spider-Man. He was spectacular. Spider-Man's a great show. Check it out, please. You can find it on like uh, just look for a web. I forget web swing. Just look up spectacular Spider-Man. You'll find videos, and you will be almost blown away, basically. Especially the last episodes in the second season. Okay, there is one complaint. One complaint. I don't like the way the Green Goblin looks. And I'm not particularly fond of his voice. Like, I think they could have buffed him up a little bit more. I, I know they, I know he has super strength, but he looks like a little green elf. Basically, with the, with the big ears, he looks like a little green, uh, a green elf. But I'm going to... Maybe it, it's it's kind of like this. I would say it's kind of like what they did in the Batman with the Joker, but from what I look back in the comics, this is probably more realistic to the actual comic book design than the movies were. Because yeah, so I I'll I'm I'm letting it pass, and I'm not particularly too fond of the voice, but I love the guy that does Norman Osborn. Because that guy, his voice, and the way he does Norman Osborn's character. Does not show one inch of fear. Like you see the scene where um um in the first season, uh, Vulture drops him. He's heading for the ground. He's not like ah. He's just like and then he's caught by Spider Man. He's like stoned faced. And then the, and then there's another scene where the um the place is uh they're in a building and then it's rigged to blow and he's just like shut it off. Not like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? He's just stone faced. But I just, I'm not too particularly fond of the guy who did the Green Goblin. But hey, I can let it pass because it's still such a great show. Um, my favorite, and and one other, th another thing I really like about it, some shows, superhero shows, when they get into their seasons, they when they start, they seem to forget about all the other characters. Like, they'll have the main villains. Like in this, I, I guess the main villains are the Green Goblin, um, Doc Ock, and Venom. Those would be the three main. And if you count Tombstone, but um, I had never heard of him before this show, honestly. But uh, he he's cool. He's nice. Um, I actually thought the big man was going to be Kingpin. I think that's what most people thought, and that it turns out to be, who the heck is this? Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. Uh, they, like, let's say, let's take the show The Batman, not The Batman the animated series, but The Batman. Their first few seasons were mainly Penguin and Joker based, and they showed them a lot, and they kind of got an annoyed, but you didn't really get to care that much about all the other characters, and all the other villains got to show in, like, their own episode, like, once, and then they were only thrown in other episodes. I mean, like, um, Killer Croc only had one episode, uh, so, Firefly had two, but the other one was different, um, yeah, Ragdoll had one episode, like, most of them just all had one episode, the only one that I can remember right now who got more than one would be, um, Black Mask and, uh, The Riddler, they got, they got, they got two. But anyway, back on track. Back on track. Oh, and Hugo Strange got too. But anyway, more than one, I mean. Anyway, back back on this track here of... But what they did... They didn't do that. They included their older... Their not-so-famous villains. Spider-Man... The Sandman has more than one episode where he's in. The main, the main character in it. Or the main villain in it. And so does Shocker. And so does, um... 
Rhino. Did I say Rhino? No, I said it. And like all their other minor characters still have their own episodes. And um and they're cool. It's this show is doing a great job of getting those who haven't really aren't really into comics, getting them into the show. Because trust me guys, in closing, I just want to close here. This is the best show on television right now, and maybe the second best uh, animated show ever. Okay, put it in. I'm gonna put it in third behind Justice League. Unless you count Justice League Unlimited, which I'll put it fourth. But still, very, very good show. The best show on TV right now. Cartoon show. Okay, I'm Lazy D99. Alright, I still need a catchphrase. So long, suckers! That's a bad one. Guys! Guys, we're done the video. The video's over. Gu guys! Guys! Gu guys, the video's over! Guys!